Hey guys, it's Mason with Danger MCE. Today I'm going to be talking a little bit about a Steam community market glitch that's been happening the last couple of days. I noticed it while I was trading and acquiring some items as investments from the Shattered Web Collection, and I thought I'd share my experience and some tips on how to get the best value when you're buying on the Steam community market at the moment while this glitch is active. Now I think this glitch has happened in the past, but it's happened for the last four nights consecutively and so if it continues to happen if steam doesn't fix it i thought i would share how to get the best bang for your buck if you are buying through the steam community market so first of all i'm going to explain the glitch what happens is when you list an item on the community market it doesn't show up in the available listings here let me see with the tech nine uh, this one's been for sale a couple days but I have it listed for 20 cents and okay, here I am. So not applicable with this one because it's been listed for a few days. So it went through, but for example, if I post this on the market, let's say for 220 or yeah, just for example, 220, um, the skin won't show up in the marketplace. It will just stay invisible kind of but it will be available to people via buy orders. So I just confirmed my mobile authenticator. I'm gonna refresh one more time and it's gonna show that I have a listing here for the USPS Pathfinder at 220. Now, when you click on the item, you're gonna see that the item that's listed isn't actually posted for sale here on the page. You can see these are 230, so it should be somewhere in here between. Um, I don't know why they're a little out of order once in a while, but nonetheless, my listing should be here and it's not. So what's happening is you list a item on the market, but it takes a little while to show up. I'm not sure if it's a day or a couple hours or just when the glitch settles down and all the stuff pushes through to market. But anyways, the listings aren't making it to market, which is leading to some items being artificially inflated, which I'll show you here. The agent skins from the Operation Shattered Web, you can see are being listed for ridiculous prices right now, 60 or 70 or $80 for the red agent. Now, if you go to the Steam listings, you'll see that the price reported is accurate for the lowest listing. However, because of the market glitch that's going on, there could be listings lower than this that aren't appearing on the seller page yet, which happens to be the case. As you can see here, the buy order is at 1214 and the lowest is at $80. However, if you press the place buy order button, it'll automatically assign the cost of the buy order to the lowest value of the item that's trying to be sold. So when you click buy order here, you'll notice that it says 1254 for one item. Now, if I were to have the funds and click purchase, I would receive one special agent Ava at 1254 because that's the lowest price. This happens for all of the items at the moment. You can see here, the Dr. Ramanov is listed at 70 USD with buy orders for nearly seven. And if you place a buy order, you'll see the lowest available listing is 731. Now you could purchase this through buy order to get the best price available. Obviously you're not gonna be paying 70 USD. However, some people have been paying a little over market. Um, so this happens with all of the skins as well in every case in collection, but I'm going to highlight the Deagle Emerald Jormungandr in this example because the factory new is currently listed for $126. And if you look at the postings, there is one for $126 and higher, but the lowest buy order is at $73.97. Similarly, the price of the item sales has gone up just astronomically. Four sold for 127, one 125, and then you can see here smaller ones for buy orders. So in this example, the lowest listing is 126, and if you click place buy order, the lowest listing is really 8587. So you could click to purchase one of these items, and you would receive that item for 8587. Now the downside is you don't know what the float value is going to be, if it has stickers or not, but if you're trying to get your best bang for the buck at the moment on the Steam community market, using buy orders to find the lowest priced item is going to be your best bet to do it. 
Now, as I said, this is happening across the entire uh, community market, including Dota 2 and other games. But I'll show you another example here from the train collection. These are industrial grade skins that I've been using to trade up to mil spec skins from the collection. They only have two mil spec outcomes, so it gives you favorable odds in a four to six trade up. And as you can see here, the buy order is for 0.18. The lowest listing is for 0.21. And if I click place buy order, I should get one for 19 or 20 cents. And as you can see here, the lowest one available is for 19 cents. If I click to agree to purchase and place order, and go to my inventory, you'll see that one item was fulfilled at 19 cents, even though the lowest listing that it shows is 21 cents. So this is just a market glitch. There's ways to play around it, as you can see. Um, the float's not guaranteed to be good, but if you are looking for your best value on the Steam community market, this is the way to do it. So I hope this helps, and if you have any questions, definitely feel free to leave a comment. I'd be happy to help out. I'm pretty knowledgeable about the item economy, um, trade up contracts, and uh, trading in general. So definitely feel free to leave a comment. Appreciate I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you guys have a good day and stay safe out there. See you later.